Woven into the fabric of BayCare is the steadfast belief that everyone deserves the same access to high quality care regardless of their ability to pay. Coming up on Polk Place, we'll talk with a local hospital about their community health needs assessment. Make sure you stick around. Welcome to Polk Place, I'm Brian Lacey, and joining me in studio is Karen Kerr. She's the president of South Florida Baptist Hospital and Bartow Regional Medical Center. Thanks for coming in today. Oh, great to be here. I want to talk a little bit. What is BayCare's role in All for Health Florida? It's, it's a collaboration with, in our four county area actually, Bay Care is involved in Polk County, Pinellas, Pasco, and Hillsborough County. Um, and we collaborate with other not-for-profits, um, health systems, as well as the county health departments to put together a needs assessment for the constituents in, in our communities. Now Karen, what's the purpose of All for Health Florida Collaborative? The, the purpose is for us to gather information on the needs of our community. And rather than us doing it independently, we do it as a collaborative group so that we have access to a wider variety of information that we can use to put our individual plans together. Now in the opening, we, we heard community health needs assessment. What's the, collaborative's grow, what's the collaborative's goal with the community health needs assessment? Well, our goal is to get to as many of our community members as possible. In our previous survey, when we did it in 2019, we were able to reach 20,000 people in the four county area. So our goal is to get that many again. And of course, this is a very different setting this year. In 2019, we did some virtual, but we did a lot of boots on the ground interviewing, interviewing people, which now is, is obviously a challenge with the COVID environment we're in because it will be all virtual. So we really want to get the word out in the communities because we need, we need their feedback and the information so that we can put together a plan that's meaningful for us and, and our, our patients and our constituents in the community. As you said, put together a plan. We know that in 2019, this happened. What was accomplished in 2019? The, the areas that we looked at in 2019 and for the last three years were in the areas of mental health, access to care, um, food insecurities bubbled up as is, is, uh, an area of need in our community. So we've been focusing in on um, starting food pantries. We currently have three in Polk County um, with a goal to get to seven this year. Um, we also have a collaborative that includes uh, a lot of uh, different folks from from um, the communities in, in the Tampa Bay area um, called the Tampa Bay Collaborative where we're focusing in on mental health um, needs and services. And it's a, it's a collaborative between our healthcare services, um, po the police departments, the schools, to really focus in on the larger, the, the larger need for, for mental health services. We also do focused education for our first responders on helping to deal with individuals that are having, having mental health crises that, that they deal with every day. As far as BayCare goes, what actions did they take after the 2019? I, I've talked about some of them, and, yep. and certainly um, the the food the food pantries have have been been a focus. Education, getting getting um, um, you know the the information and needs out in in the community so that we can help. We also, as we're we're um, seeing patients in our hospitals, we're also sending home food with them um, if they express a need to us that they don't have access to to food when they get home because it it, it 
attaches so much to their wellness if they don't, can't have their basic needs met with, with um, access to food. Talk about the importance of the residents of Polk County in, in participating and, and completing the survey. Yes, um, as, I, as I indicated, our goal is to get to many, as many in Polk County as we can. And as I said, it's an online survey, so it, it's vital that we hear what's important in our community, in our community in Polk County, um, so that we can tailor our plan at Bartow Regional to specifically to, to Polk, Polk County, to our area, um, so, that, so that it's not something that just is all of Bay Care, but it really is focused in on our community here. Karen, we've got just a few minutes left. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to add or really like to stress the importance of, of participation within Polk County? Yes, and, and I think that is the point that I'd really like to stress is that we really need the participation of our community in this survey. Um, we, as you indicated earlier, it really is part of our mission to serve the needs of our community and it's important for us to know what those are so that we can, we can address our plan based on, based on our needs in this community. Well, I want to thank you for coming in today and any time that you guys need to get the word out about anything you have going on, uh, the seat is yours. Come back and All see right. me again, will you please? Great. Love to. As a leading community-based health system in the greater Tampa Bay area, BayCare Health System is committed to meeting the wide-ranging needs of the neighbors in every community that they serve. As a part of that commitment, BayCare conducts comprehensive community health needs assessments every three years to identify the most significant health needs across the region and develop strategies for addressing them. A collaborative process is used to develop the assessments and implementation plans, integrating extensive data analysis, community member feedback, and in working with community organizations that share their commitments.